Hello everybody, this is David Tashi once again coming to you from my friend's place in East Mesa, Arizona. Uh, tonight's topic we'll talk about is surviving a long hot summer. Now this is the time of the year when it gets very hot and you gotta be very cautious of the heat because you don't wanna you don't want to over overheat yourself. You don't you don't want to over, overheat yourself. Um, there are many things you gotta do, you know, to uh, avoid the heat, you know, to you know keep cool so you don't you know overheat in this hot weather. Uh, a lot of places, you know, especially me, we live in, I've been living in Arizona pretty much, pretty much most, most of my life. I mean, we uh, lived, 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 lived out since I was seven, and I've learned over the years I've been out here, I've learned how hot it can get, especially during the summertime. At this time of year, summertime, it can get. There's been times it got, it got past one, one or twenty degrees. Um, here are some ways you can um, there's some ways you, you can get yourself through a long hot summer okay first of all if you are doing any any outdoor activity such as in like you know like like yard like yard work uh, you're gonna go you know go for a bike ride walk or hiking it's best to do the summertime it's best to do that either it's best to do like like either like early in the morning like early in the morning What's cool? What's cool enough before it, before it gets before the sun hits, or in the evening when the sun goes down? Because usually, by usually by as you probably probably depend on where you're at, probably by 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 eleven by eleven o'clock it's just it's gonna start get get pretty hot, and it'll probably be hot from like eleven o'clock in the morning until about maybe seven eight o'clock in the evening when the sun when the sun goes down. And yeah, it could maybe maybe a little muggy too in the, in the evening, but it, it all depends on where you're at, uh, what your climate is, and um, what your weather is like during during that during the summertime. Um, also, what you want to do is make sure you drink plenty of water in order to, in order to in order to stay hydrated. Because if you don't have your water, you don't drink your water, you're gonna get dehydrated. Also, if you're gonna be out in the sun for a long period of time. Make sure you got plenty of sunblock to, to protect you from, from, the, from the sun. Um, also, make sure you have a you wear a a hat like a, that. You know, some people wear, wear baseball caps, but it actually wear really protection from the sun. If you wear one of those like those kind of those round brimmed hats, that's what really protects you. Um, also, um, and believe me, I know because one time. When I was like, yo, know, when I was like, like, was like about eight years old. Of course, you know, my, my grandpa had to, you know, remind me that not to get out of the sun too long. And I remember one time, I think, I think he was out and about one time, and uh, I think I was, out, I was like, out of the, I think he was out and about. I think he was out and about, or it was in the house. I think everyone was was home. Uh, I remember one time I was out in the sun. I was probably maybe eight, eight years old, and um, I was out in the sun for a while, just, just you know, enjoying a nice suntan. And um, and not not you know my here I was like I was like 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 an eight year old kid at the time and not and not thinking not you know not you know not pay, not paying attention I'm out there I think I fell asleep outside and I think by I woke I think by half hour forty five minutes I woke up later I was red from head to toe had the most worst sunburn you could ever imagine and believe me it was not fun. And that's why I'm always careful now not to get out in the sun too long. Uh, yeah, like I said, you know, the most important thing is to drink plenty of water. With that being said, this is David Tashi coming to you once again from Phoenix, Arizona. I mean, I'm, I mean from East Mesa, Arizona. Wishing you all a good day.